Now, what deciding factors, what, what must one consider when marking a table for update statistics? You know, you often hear me say, what's the problem you're trying to solve? And, and the, so that, that's the, the first thing that I would ask is, why are you updating statistics? And I'm not saying they don't need to be updated, but people often think, well, they, they need to be up to date in order to get accurate execution plans. Well, kinda, but if you think about a statistic based on, say, customer name, how often does that data distribution really change? Have you all of a sudden got a, oh my God, we had 1,000 Alex's sign up yesterday. We've, now the data is mostly Alex's. You know, the, the data distribution on stuff like that just doesn't really change very often. Sales by product ID, sales by salesperson ID, those statistics, they just don't really change that often. And when you update statistics, you are triggering recompiles for queries in the plan cache. So you might have a great query plan in the cache, but because you're updating stats on a column that really isn't changing at all, you are triggering parameter sniffing. So I used to be of the opinion a long time ago that I would update statistics with full scan every night just because I could, but then I would wonder why in the morning I'd come into work and I'd have all these parameter sniffing problems and I could never get query stable plans, stable query plans. So these days I tend to think more of leave it alone and do it once a month unless there's a problem you need to solve. And the problem that you're gonna to need to solve is gonna be on specific statistics. Sure, update those more often, perhaps a sales date or an inventory date that really does churn all the time. But on the stuff that doesn't really change much, where the skew doesn't change much, why not avoid parameter sniffing? Avoid the problems of your plan cache constantly getting uh, turned over.